Dalwini is a really exciting Australian vineyard and wine brand. First planted in 1976. Dalwini was probably also quite famous for releasing one of Australia's first cult wines, which is the Dalwini Eagle. And the amazing thing about that site is it's high up in the Pyrenees, um, about 500 metres above sea level. And it's this amazing sort of amphitheatre of vines. And there's sort of five little subsets of hills on only what is an only an eight hectare vineyard. So all of these little hills, and you've got the Eagle Block here, and then you've got the Dry Block and the Southwest Rocks, rolls around to the Thompson Block, the 93 Block, and the Pinnacle Block. They've all got different personalities. They're all like amazing little single sites. And so sometimes we make a pinnacle block, single site wine. We obviously make the eagle. We make a dry block sometimes, make a southwest rock sometimes, and we're making a Thompson block too. Then the sum of all these different parts along with the valley floor, which has got some more soil depth, which is really important because the vineyard is completely dry grown. And you know, we're lucky to get 500 mils of rainfall a year at Dalwini. Um, so the sum of all these parts of these hill blocks along with the valley floor goes into what's called the Moon and Belle Shiraz, um, which is sort of Darwin's hero wine, which we make the most of, um, and just a, a regional and Australian classic. You know, from a Shiraz point of view, they're ethereal and perfumed and spicy, um, but they've got lovely tannin resolve and length and, and real great sort of dark fruited appeal. They're really, really cool wines. The thing I particularly find about them is they're quite complex, you know, like a full array, everything of black pepper all the way into sort of like warmer cinnamon-like spices, which is quite cool. And we also have um, Cabernet, original planting of Cabernet in 76, and also Chardonnay. 70% um, of the vineyard is Shiraz, and that's our flagship and our hero. But the Dalwini Cabernet, especially in a, a really fine, cool year, they're just such beautiful medium body dreams, you know, 13% alcohol, like cassis interwoven with ripe bay and sage and fennel and all sorts of lovely things and they age amazingly. Like it's the truism for whether it's Chardonnay, Cabernet or Shiraz, um, 20 years is not a long time in a Dalwini wine's um, maturation journey. And if you get the chance to come to Dalwini itself, like it's a pretty special thing to try some of the museum wines and just sort of see how just good, how good they are with time. And then the final wine, the Chardonnay, it's really quite blossom and pure and citrus driven on the nose. It sort of feels a little bit Chablisian the way you smell it, but the palate is quite expansive and has lovely breadth and depth of sort of yellow stone fruits and sort of ripe guava characters running through to kind of a really nice sort of cedar oak driven cleansing acidity but they're not overly tightly acid driven wines and, and interestingly they sort of take the cue from the reds and age in a really graceful fashion you know like 2018 at the moment nougat almond meal orange blossom kind of way so yeah some really exciting wines from what is just one of australia's most exciting single vineyard sites from a winemaking point of view, I think with a single vineyard like that, is it needs, needs to be sympathetic to making that site shine. Now, I think that's any true winemaker's art is about best expressing the way they see um, the vineyard is in its best light. And myself as a winemaker can take them into the next 10, 20 um, years and that has improved and improved and be a beautiful part of what is a very fine wine stable at Fogarty Wine Group.